What's up YouTube, BMR here and today we're going to be performing the steering angle mod as well as installing my front tie rod. So for those of you who don't know, for the front of the Mini Z all wheel drive, let me show you guys here, focus this and bring it up. All right, so this little part right here and this little part right here are the ends of your tie bar. So your knuckles actually fit into that and then your servo is attached to this point and then it uses those two sides to steer. So if I turn the car, let's start this way. So watch this side that comes into the frame. There's a gap, right? Perfect. So let's see the other side on this side. When it comes in, it actually makes contact with the frame a little bit. So I want to actually perform a slight modification to my car to go ahead and make it so that it'll be able to travel into the frame and hopefully it'll make it so that my steering angle is a little bit more symmetrical. Um, one of my subscribers, Blitzworks, he actually commented this on one of my first videos and mentioned it and pointed it out to me. So I wanted to go ahead and shout him out since he was the one who gave me the idea for this, but I'm sure if when I was installing my, my, uh, tie bar up in the front I would have noticed this but either way he beat me to it so I wanted to go ahead and shout him out and say thank you for letting me know about this so let's go ahead and actually get started so all we have to do to pull our to install our tie bar is we need to remove this plate so there's four screws up here I think those just come off I don't think we need to remove these two front clips we'll see but um these four screws right here need to get removed and then we can go ahead and install the tie bar so that's going to be my first step is installing the tie bar and seeing exactly how much my steering angle uh how much these parts because this is the part that actually impacts the frame and I'm thinking this part slightly turned in even further than this so I'm going to go ahead and install this first and see where my my knuckles are hitting the frame or not my knuckles my um tie rod holes, I guess, where the steering knuckles sit inside of that. So anyways, see where this is impacting the frame and we'll go from there. Just to confirm, so you do need to pull all six sets of screws because this front little uh, body clip thing, it actually overlaps this uh, board right here a little bit. So you do have to pull all six screws, but just remember that two of these screws, the two ones that go in this front part, I'm just going to go ahead and set those I'll do that off camera, but either way, two of your screws, your front ones are gonna be shorter and then the other four are all the same length. So just keep that in mind when you're taking your front end apart that you're gonna to wanna to keep these two screws separate from these other four. You're gonna to need to pull all six to lift this board. All right, so let's lift this. Hmm. All right, so you lift off your board like that and there's the bottom of my differential. There's my tie bar, and these are my steering knuckles. So let's go ahead and set this. Ooh, I still have this on. Turn that bad boy off. Okay, set this guy to the side. Let's go ahead and grab. So this is our stock tie bar. This is our front stock tie bar. All right, and here is our new beautiful PN Racing tie bar. Let's go ahead and just check these out side by side try to do a little bit of a comparison so yeah you can see the angle slightly different just a tiny bit not a whole lot but either way i just think it's cool to see them side by side on camera so this is my negative one so this will be toe out so this will take my wheels and point them out so let's go ahead i just need to pop this there Actually, I should drop this in first because I can manipulate my steering knuckles. Yep, pop that in there. Oh no, never mind. That's something to be mindful of is your swing arm can come out. Okay, you go back in there. This will go back there. And then this. All right, there we go. Got it all lined up, everything looks fine. Let's go ahead and pop this plate back on. All right, so now we have our plate on. Go ahead and bring this in, focus in a little bit. Let's turn this back on. Whoa.
Sorry, I just noticed my <laughs> steering was super off. All right, so let's bring this in. So it looks like this actually has full clearance. So I really don't need to perform the mod, but I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys how to do this on camera just because I wanted to, and I want to, in case anybody else is having issues, I know all cars are different. I know if you're using like a, a two degree bar up in the front, I'm only using a negative one, so a two degree would be a little bit different. So I would just take a metallic Sharpie like this and just kind of mark off exactly where your uh, tie bar is making contact with your frame and then just file that little bit away. And so just to show you guys, so I went ahead and I marked this area right here. Now let me zoom in a little bit. So I marked this area right here where it's making contact and all you wanna do is literally just work it with a file and just widen this channel up. Do this off camera. All right, bring it back. So as you can see, I've taken away some material right there. Um, it's leaving a nasty rough edge. So one thing I would recommend doing is grabbing some ultra fine sandpaper and just cleaning this up a little bit more with some sand, some finer grit sandpaper and making it all so it's real nice and smooth. So I would recommend using a round file for this because it's gonna ma match that channel just perfectly and just kind of file away. All right, so we got the tie bar installed. We have the plate put back on. As you can see, my tie bar is making zero contact with the frame at all. So I actually didn't need to modify my car, but like I said, Blitzworks commented and he said that he definitely needed to modify his car to make it so that his steering angle was symmetrical. Maybe there was an issue with the molding for his uh, bottom bracket for his car. But either way, um, this is a good thing to note that if your car, if your uh, tie rod is making any contact with your frame, just grab yourself a round file, pull this off so you're not getting debris into your servo and all that kind of stuff. But you just literally just file away at this area and just slowly remove material and then um, put it back on your, your little plate and then just check it and see if you're making any contact whatsoever. So I'm not making any contact. Um, I am using just a stock Kyosho KT19 controller. So maybe if I had a different controller and I could program a little bit of servo overthrow, then maybe I would have more of an issue. But for now, for my stock setup, everything's working perfectly. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my screws back in and check back in with you guys. All right, so I got all four screws installed. I just wanted to go ahead and real quick uh, touch on this with you guys. So when I install my screws, I put all of them on there and I just barely snug them down. And then what I do is I tighten them in a cross pattern, kind of like when you're tightening down, if you're changing a tire on a car. So I tighten this one down, then this one, then this one, then this one. And hopefully it just keeps the whole plate, uh, the pressure on the plate centered in there better. And so once you've actually gone in and tightened up all your screws, I would just check again your servo throw and make sure nothing's binding. Make sure it's smooth, there's no chatter or anything like that, and that your uh, tie bar isn't getting caught on and it's not getting snagged now that you actually have your uh, bar tightened down. And I would do that before you go ahead and put this one on there in case um, you do need to go in there and loosen it up and take a look in there and in case anything's hitting and you need to file anything away, um, I, would, I would suggest testing this before you install this little white plate. So just so it's two less screws that you're screwing in and out and it's just honestly two more places for points of failure in the future. If you're tightening screws and untightening screws all the time, you're eventually gonna strip something out, whether it's your frame or the screw. In this case, it's gonna be the frame since it's plastic. So I just wanted to point that out to you guys. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and toss this back on there real quick and uh, touch back with you guys. All right, so as you can see, I got everything put back together, but real quick, I wanted to mention that if you're gonna be uninstalling and reinstalling these screws, I would recommend putting thread locker on every single one of these six screws because this front end does have a lot of vibration and it does take uh, a lot of force anytime you crash your car. So I would definitely make sure that you lock tight your screws in place just to make sure that they don't back out. I did not thread lock mine in place this time because I'm planning on getting a whole front uh, front end from Eagle Racing. So all this is gonna be all aluminum and new parts. So I didn't thread lock these, I probably should have, but I was just being lazy and being fast, so I didn't do it. But I wanted to mention that for you guys. So just make sure that you thread lock all your stuff so then you don't have any issues in the future. All right, so that's about it for the video. I got my tie bar installed. Uh, 
I was expecting to hit some speed bumps. I thought that I was gonna have issues with my tie bar, but as you guys can see, focus. As you guys can see, um, I'm not making any contact with my frame whatsoever. Uh, I thought for sure on this side, I would definitely be making contact, but I didn't. So if you notice that on your car, if your servo throw from left to right is asymmetrical, first thing I would do is go ahead and look in here and make sure that these aren't making contact with your frame. If you are making contact with your frame, I would recommend getting yourself a round file and just start hacking away at it, slowly chip some pieces out of it. I mean, you could remove quite a bit of meat from this thing before you get and expose any of these parts in here. So don't be afraid to file away. It's not gonna hurt anything. You're not gonna damage anything. Um, just be mindful when you're doing it and you'll be good. So once again, if you guys are noticing any kind of asymmetrical imbalance in your left, right servo throw, that'd be the first place I'd look. So. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this helps somebody out there. Uh, leave some comments below on if you guys have any questions for this. If you guys are having any issues or you noticed anything with your car, go ahead and let me down. Let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. Um, anyways, hope you guys enjoy the video. Hope you guys have a great day and see you next time.